Hello everyone, welcome to another video and uh, this week we do a little bit more work in the water mine. We also get a load of help clearing out the rest of the pond. So we're trying to get rid of the uh, algae that's formed in the bottom of this. And I shall be doing something special with these in the kitchen. And look what this is. I've managed to get hold of some calzada. But quick question, at the end of the video I'll tell you how much, but please let me know how much you think this pile of calzada cost us. Good morning, welcome back. Uh, welcome to our channel. Thank you for your lovely response to the last video. Another beautiful day in sunny Portugal. And you find me back at the water mine, because I'm going to put the first bottom step in. I've mixed up some concrete and um, I'll have to carry it all down by bucket. As you know, there's my concrete all mixed up. Nice bit of aggregate in it, as some of you seem to think I don't put it in. But nice bit of ag in there. Uh, so I'll shovel that into buckets and take it down and I'll show you what I'm doing down there. So we've still got our troublesome leak, which is uh, coming from here, along here. But um, no problem, got the pipe in, not a lot of dampness coming down here. So what I'll do now is just fill this in with concrete and uh, this block all waterproof concrete, yeah. Then that, there's a few bits of rubble and stuff in here just to make up the distance, but the whole face of the block work here. I'm going to try and make sure the concrete is in contact with, which then, as you can see, <coughs> yeah, because this is waterproof concrete, so that'll be fine. And then we'll make one big step and then we can build our next block on top of that and make another step. Pipe. Fill the block in as well. Obviously I need a bit more. Oh, we've got a bit of water coming in here.
tamping it down to get to get the air to the surface basically to get the bubbles out of the concrete and what we can do with this water leak just make a little channel down here for the minute so it all goes down there and doesn't ruin our efforts here so when you tamp it uh, what happens is what is known in the trade is the, the fat comes to the surface, so all the sand and cement, or uh, all the gooey good bits, come to the surface as the aggregate sinks, and, and you can use that stuff with no aggregate in to fill in little gaps. And maybe on this edge, where I'm over the top of the blocks, I can use it there. It'll, it'll um, help hide the top of the blocks and give us a good seal. see there okay so hopefully this will work quick recap uh, I've cut this little bit of pipe off which was the original feed pipe for the um, that goes down to the tank in the garden and that's the new one I've put in so anyway cut that off concreted the step in yeah I've taken away this pipe I've put some clay I found some clay and put some clay here it's holding at the minute so it may well uh, may well stay that way so the next step is now um, another block in here to make another step I'll have to break away some of this material here. I've concreted in behind those blocks as well. So then the next step is another row of blocks on there. More concrete behind. And I've put this block, which comes just over the top of the outfall pipe. Yeah, uh, It's a little bit different level than the other ones, but we can make that up with the mortar joints, etc. Um, so that's really good. Um, I'm pleased with that. We want the last thing we do will be concrete the base uh, right up to the neck of this ring and then there'll be a pipe in that which will be adjustable for the height of the water whatever water level you want in in the well it'll all make sense once this once it comes together a bit more and on that note let's go and do something else so we're trying to get rid of the uh, algae that's formed in the bottom of this the last and, uh, literally got, couple of days. What have you got in there? I say, unfortunately, this net is like. Is that something there? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a stick. <laughs> so, as I'm cleaning out the algae here, we, this thing's appeared, and this is, we know for a fact, a brown water scorpion. Looks like a stick insect, though. It does look like a stick insect. There we go. But it's quite happy in the water. It's just such weird. It doesn't look like it should be in the water. No, a brown. Water scorpion. I'll put the Latin name up here. So what we found is easier to do is for me to tip the scoopfuls of stuff up here and Ange um, tries to rescue gets the animals out of it. Look, this is a dragonfly nymph and in here we have a massive uh, I do believe it's a green Iberian water frog Lots of dragonfly nymphs yeah, and lots, lots of these of scorpions these. as well, and some diving beetles, diving beetles, etc. etc. Yeah, so, we'll I'm going to go and decant the frog into the pond a minute. Well, yeah, if you empty this one, we can always, uh, yeah, and uh, let me get these surface ones here in a minute, and then um, bring the other bucket up. Oh, 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 escaping oh. beetle, come here, you little, you got him, <laughs> <laughs> and I'll uh, start filling up or you know, rescuing stuff. And put it in the other one while you um, yep. count the slot. So it's very windy, but um, here it goes. Come on, mate, you're going the wrong way.
So I'm going to attempt to film we're getting murkier stuff now, but uh, along with the dragonfly nymphs, which are there are millions of them, it's also in here the giant. See if we can see him. The giant water beetle. Oh yeah, I can see him in the bottom here. Hang on, I'll try and get. These guys always want to go upstream. He's still in the bottom. There's hundreds of these dragonfly nymphs. Here he is, Sim. It's a giant water beetle. Mmm, Sunday evening spent playing with sludge. This stuff. A quick break in the video to mention this week's video sponsor, which is Apexel. These guys make macro lenses that fit over your smartphone. Uh, we were really impressed by them. Um, basically it looks like a little frame like this, which just expands to clip on the phone. And the lens looks something like this, which screws into this frame quite easily. Yeah. Like so. You line this up with the with the uh, lens on the camera on your phone and you can take some cracking photographs. So coming up is going to be a list of or going to be a few shots of uh, all the photographs and video we took with this thing. Absolute cracking piece of kit. Okay to give you some idea this is the phone set up filming this lime here and this is the frame that you uh, just basically clips over the front of the camera and what you do on the other side I'll turn this around is you line the uh, center of the aperture up with your lens which is your camera lens which is that one or your video lens or your camera lens so that is still seeing through that same lens and then what I like to do the easier way to do it for me they know that's lined up now is screw the macro lens onto that And that's it, the setup is that easy. Away. No one away.
So I found this little thing fascinating and another thing is it comes with a little rubber eyepiece yeah so you can actually use it manually as well absolutely cracking little piece of kit for 30 to 40 euros fantastic so we have a 15% discount code in the description below and uh, it's I'll put it up on screen as well P project P15 is our discount code for 15% off this cracking little piece of kit so what are you doing in the kitchen uh -huh. I've picked some vine leaves, mm -hmm. uh, not to wear, but to, <laughs> <laughs> but to eat. Um, I'm going to be doing them as a sort of a replacement pastry case. So it's a little bit of an experiment, um, just to try to, to do something a little bit different if you're gluten-free, for example. So I'm going to be making a gluten-free quiche using vine leaves as a pastry case. So I'm just going to give them a wash off first because obviously they've been out in the, the country. Um, we're very lucky we have our own vines here. Uh, it has been a bit of a pant, well it is a pants here for the actual grape side of it. But the leaves aren't looking too bad at all. So uh, I know that you can buy brined vine leaves in... I don't know, like in a little tin or something. So they, they could be used in as well if you can't actually get fresh vine leaves. But I'm just going to give these a quick wash and then go on to the next stage. Okay, so to make these a little more malleable. Malleable. Malleable mm. is a good word, isn't it? Um, we've just boiled the kettle. So I'm going to put boiling water on top of these. It's almost like a very quick blanch, so here goes. But as you can see, they're really a lot softer now. So I'm now just going to oil the dish and the little ones as well, because I'm going to, this is going to be a um, big one for us because we're piggies, <laughs> and we're off out tonight to Herta Naluca, um, living in Portugal, so see you guys later, and this is what I'm making you. <laughs> so plenty of olive oil, don't know where we're going to get that from. Right, I'm just going to scoop some of these out, as you see they're nice and floppy, and uh, we'll start putting them in the containers. Right, so here goes a complete experiment. Never done anything like this before. I'm going to be putting them in outside or the non-veiny part on the outside because I think that's how you sort of see it then. So make the sure outside of the leaf to the outside yes. of the thing, yeah. So make sure they nicely overlap. Like I say, as I pick up a big one, it'll go probably in there. Okay, so now that the we've lined all the bits with the vine leaves. I've had a few left over, which is great. Piggies can have those. So now onto the actual um, mixture itself for the, for the quiche. I've got some broccoli. I'm going to put in a small tin of sweet corn, red onions, uh, cream, milk, and eggs. So here it goes. So just a reminder what's in there. Okay, we had broccoli, red onions, sweet corn, uh, cream, and I'm just about to put some pepper in it as well. I haven't put any milk in this as of yet, but I'm looking at that thinking it's quite, quite Mo nice. Moist and, enough. Quite moist enough. So I'll just put some pepper in there. We like pepper. Okay, so I've just got like a, a soup ladle because I think that might be 
hopefully the easiest way of uh, doing these little ones. So we'll just do a little bit at a time. And then whatever's left, I'm going to see if I can get into the bigger one. And get a load more in this one. Perfect. Oh, how do I do it? No <laughs> measurements whatsoever. Phew. <laughs> right, obviously scrape out the bulbs. And... Just to give these a little bit more colour. <laughs> um, I have here some beautiful purple tomatillos, I believe mm, they are. Tomatillos. Um, thank you. Thank you, Carissa. Frankie off grid. Much appreciated. I've saved one though, because I'm going to get the seeds out of that. So... Uh, so I'm just going to slice, do some couple of slices to finish these off. So like I said, I'm just going to put one on a biggish slice on the middle of one of these, or on all of these ones. And the other bits I can put on our stay at home one. And then I'm going to grate some cheese over the top so that will melt down as well. So that'll be lovely. Perfect. Can't have too much cheese in any dish. Who's stealing the cheese? Right, it might be easy. So there you've had a little dusting of grated cheese, sprinkle of pepper, and I'm going to put them in the oven. They're going in the oven at 180 degrees C, which is... 300 and... Something or other. Yeah, we'll put it on the... on the thing, on the screen for, for everybody. So they go in there. Okay, moment, moment of truth. Moment of truth. They're the little ones. Well, doesn't look too bad if I say so myself. So we've been joined by Ewan from Frankie Off Grid. On the year. Bon dia. And uh, what we'll be doing today is continuing with the pool refurb and uh, we're going to basically knock off all these big rocks. Ewan said his back's nice and strong today so that's a good thing. Uh, we're going to take the rocks off and um, hopefully make a start on removing the liner as well.
Okay, you. Let's do this. Let's do it. You going? What happens to my? You can balance on this narrow yeah, edge. <laughs> to start with, this is going to be a bit underwhelming. Maybe. Because there's a black layer underneath. Ah. Part two. Okay, so here we are. I just wanted to show you some of these roots, which I believe most of them are cherry roots. Hold on, go this way around. Uh, it's a bit worrying, they're right on the bottom underneath 
everything. And I'm a bit concerned if these get underneath concrete. Yeah, these look like cherry roots, to be honest. These get underneath concrete, whether they expand and crack the concrete. But this is the granite I've got to break out here. This is why we had a funny shape there. So, and all these sandbags have to come out so I can put concrete walls up instead. And then this this line of bags here will be going straight that way. So all this granite here has to be broken out. Great fun. So today we have magnificent Miguel, <laughs> terrific Tony, <laughs> <laughs> no. nifty Nicky, uh, all helping out today. So, which is Ace, we're going to load the sandbags onto the trailer uh, and get them away to um, another place.
there we go. That's all the uh, all the bags out now. I'll show you in a minute where I've put them all. Um, now, got to get the machine in and dig across here, and this massive boulder's got to go underneath here. So that's going to be the hardest work. Yeah. Get this one out. With two spoons. So yeah, this is uh, all the sandbags we took out of the pond with the tractor and trailer, as you can see here. Um, I'll just let you into a little secret now where they're going to go. So, through the wilderness here, hang on, I'll get there in a minute. So in here is a big, so you can see the bottom, there's a big pit which I dug a few years ago. It's now been um, propagated by willow which I will dig out and, and replant. But this is to be lined with those sandbags and a liner put in and a cap over the top. So any rainwater now that goes into this pit, basically, uh, we can use as water for the garden. It actually cost 900 euros. So that's all from us this week. Uh, thank you for watching everyone. Um, special big thanks to Tony, Nikki and Miguel yeah. for all their help on this removal of the little little project we've started. <laughs> and yeah. uh, thanks a lot guys, really appreciated. So if you like the video, please give us a big like up here. And if you liked it and you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Subscribe and don't forget Ring that little notification bell. Ding, ding. And we'll see you in the next episode. Bye. Bye. So this week, something different at the end of the video. A big shout out to Instrumental Backtracks. Yeah, up here. Big shout out to those the YouTube channel. Uh, they've done a little song for us. Here it is. Terras da Amarela, no coração de Portugal Vive um casal encantador no estilo natural Nicky e Andreia são os nomes deles Com suas mãos talentosas fazem truques incríveis Na horta e na cozinha eles são a sensação Com frutinhas, azeite e um toque de paixão Andreia com uma nova anca Mas cheia de coragem quanto Nicky Lamparina Pura diversão Já passou por muito, mas continua firme Ajuda o Nick mesmo quando ela faz um crime Tancando o dedo na massa e lambendo o colher É uma paixão incontrolável, isso não dá pra esquecer Uncle Nick é o herói no campo e na cidade Com seu brilho de cavaleiro dá toda a sua bondade E não é só isso, eles têm uma nova alegria Adotar o Frank Off Grid é festa todo dia Oh, Nick e Andrea são a alegria do lugar Com pães e bolos deliciosos sabem como Cerejas, limões e maçãs a brilhar No fogão fazem magia, tudo é de sonhar Aguardente dos vizinhos dá o toque final Cada invenção deles é um feito especial Se você vê o Nick e André em ação Vai ver que a cozinha é pura diversão Com cada bolinho torto e doce feito com amor É uma festa de sabores e é um verdadeiro fervor O campo é o reino e eles são a realeza Com suas receitas e sorrisos enche a natureza Com Frank ao lado e as invenções no fogão São os reis do sabor no coração da nação Oh, Nick e Andrea são a alegria do lugar Com pães e bolos deliciosos sabem como encantar Com dedos na massa e a colher sempre a brilhar Fazem delícias que ninguém consegue igualar Então vamos todos cantar esta história bem alta Nick e Andrea, vocês são a verdadeira exaltação Com seu talento e amor e uma cozinha para brilhar A vida off grid é uma festa e queremos celebrar Oh, Nick e Andrea são a